All right, so in this video, uh, I'm in Unreal 5.5 preview, and um, I am going to go over some of the new tools that I've been playing around with. So the first thing I want to do is bring in a, uh, a mesh that I got off a of marketplace, CG Trader. It's a zombie mesh. So let me just drop this in here and hit import. And let's go ahead and do static mesh zombie. I'll go ahead and name this. And then also let's open it up and do a transform on this. Import. There we go. So that's a little bit better. And we can go ahead. You can see this thing has a lot of uh, material IDs. I don't think it was really meant for what I'm trying to do, but that's OK. So lots of stuff here. Each eye is its own material. I think it's because it was an OBJ. Um, but I think we can fix actually a lot of this stuff just directly here in uh, in the editor. So let's get started. So I can bring this guy out to the, the map here. And if I go to modeling, I can actually do some stuff in here. So I believe the first thing I want to do is generate polygroups. And you can kind of see, because uh, right now with the OBJ, it's all one polygroup. Um, so I can do from UV islands and get an idea of what that looks like. And that looks, I think, pretty good to me. So let's go ahead and hit accept. Also noticing his legs kind of have a, uh, they're kind of clipping through, which is not, not ideal. So maybe we can do some stuff here as well. All right, so what we want to do uh, to get this little guy over here, go down to your modeling mode, quick settings, and turn on mesh element selection. There's also some settings in here to do like new mesh settings, whether you want it to be a dynamic mesh actor or static mesh. Um, if we actually go to the mesh here, is you'll notice that the head uh, is including the arms and basically everything. Uh, it's not just the head. Um, and there needs to be some arm materials. So what we can do here is select these polygroups. Actually, I think we can just go down to a tribs. Generate, uh, no, sorry, not, not generate. Uh, edit polygroups. Oh, wait, no, it's down here. So Edit materials, that's what it was. Um, I don't remember which one of these was the arms. So let's see if we can find it. Okay, there isn't an arm one. So we'll just go ahead and make one. So we can add a new material ID here. And... Uh, I'll leave it blank for now. Set the active material to this new one that we created. And simply select these triangles. Like so. And then we can come down here and say assign active material. Accept. And to be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure if this has just been updated already. It looks like it. So yeah, we've just updated the skeletal mesh or the sorry, the static mesh. I actually created like a basic, it's very basic, it's just your your typical have some parameters for some texture maps and a, just a simple multiply in here. Um, so I can go ahead and assign my head, which I've created. Uh, and now it won't apply to the arms. And then I can take my arms, which I've created, and slot those in here. Like that. Um, and then as far as some of the other textures that I have, let's see what else we have. There's actually, as you can see here, there is something for the body. So we could come in here as well back into modeling and edit materials. And I like, again, I don't believe there was a body material, so let's create a new one. 
set the active material to that new one and then grab this come down here and assign active material if we come back into here we should be able now this is our new one so I'm just gonna create a material instance of this and call it M zombie body and swap out these textures. So let me make this a little bit smaller. Click, click, click. And there's our body, our body normal, and the roughness, which most of these appear to be just gray. Back here, we can now set this. And now we have an, a proper uh, body material. It's not just using the, the head material. And so you can uh, go through and fix the model in this way um, with any issues you might find. Like I know that uh, this also had like nails, uh, had their own material. Um, if we just go through here real quick, we can kind of see that we've got what is this? A t-shirt, shoe, shoe, uh, pants, um, the eyes, the corneas, lower teeth, upper teeth, head and tongue. So again, let's just go ahead. I'll create a couple more materials here. Do M zombie pants. We need to find those textures real quick. So let's see where they might be. Okay, found them. And uh, let's see here, we've got uh, these. I'm just gonna drag, drag these in. Diffuse, my normal, my roughness, and Put those here. I don't know what uh, roughness means to this person, but uh, <laughs> this is pretty, pretty shiny. Um, let's just—that's why I put this molt in there so that I could uh, try to fix things a little bit. But as you can see, it's—it's it's not quite working anyway. Let me try bringing in this specular to see if it will help. Oops. Nope, still pretty shiny. I'm just gonna use one of these gray ones from over here anyway, uh, that will be better. I, I don't mind the look, kind of has like a plants versus zombies thing. And you can also see, I don't know why the model's like this, but uh, there's some issues here with the legs. So let's see what we can do about that. I guess I could try to form poly groups on this. But yeah, it's, it does the whole thing, and that's not really what I want. But yeah, I really want it to be able to isolate and then just kind of, oh, maybe the lattice might work. Nope, looks like it, again, it does it on the whole. Oh, no, it does. Okay, sick, this will work. This is good enough. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, yeah, this is pretty slick. Uh, I'm definitely learning a lot as I go here, so. Wow, interesting. Okay, must have clicked the wrong thing. Because I just want that. That's much better. I still see a little bit right here, so let's. This gizmo's kind of whack, but. Uh, lattice, there we go. But I believe there's actually a, another gizmo plugin uh, that you can load in. 
And it looks like these legs also have the wrong texture, so I probably want to fix those at some point. Uh, but yeah, you can basically go through here and use some of these tools to, to fix things up. So again, for the legs, that's going to be in a tribs. Um, and let's just select the model. And we'll do edit materials, add a new one, set the active material to that. And then it's interesting, the sculpt brush doesn't seem to use the B drag, but the uh, this, this tool does. You can hold down B and left click drag left and right to do that. Um, let's go ahead and assign active material. And not sure where my leg textures might be. Maybe I already have them in here. Leg. Perfect, I do. All right, so let's create another material instance. Obviously, this is not the most game friendly mesh. It has a whole bunch of material IDs, but uh, I think for what I'm trying to do, it's fine, which is just test out the new tools. All right. Cool. So I think from now on, the material IDs are actually cool. Uh, and I just need to go ahead through and assign everything. I do want to at least try to wrap some of this stuff up um, in this video, uh, like to, just to make sure that I don't need any more material IDs. So I'm going to create one for the shirt. And let's see here. Let's do list so it's a little bit easier to see a bunch of stuff at once. And uh, go over to my textures folder off screen and grab these shirt textures. Okay. Most likely I'll need to do this again. And let's see here, where's the shirt t-shirt? Perfect. All right, cool. So I know that looks good, and so I know that the the other things like the eyes and the tongue and the teeth. Um, I don't. Did I see a nails? There's definitely nails uh, textures, so we could do nail uh, material IDs. Uh, might as well. Why not? So go through and do that real quick. So back in the modeling tools, let's go ahead and edit materials. New material, set the active material to that material. And let's, oops. Can I adjust the size? I can. So let's just do. Teeny tiny. It won't let me go slow, smaller than 0 0.01, but damn. Selection mode. Can we do UV Island? Oh, that's cool. I try this again. So new material. Set our active material to that. And then let's see what we can do here. Okay, so there's definitely some visibility stuff. Uh since there's a visible option here. I just don't know what the controls for that are. Um, let's try UV Island again. Yay. All right. Now we're cooking. And sign active, accept. 
Um, so I'll, I'll go ahead and do the rest of the materials later, but I think that should cover all of the material IDs and fixing up this model. Um, and uh, yeah, in the next one, we'll get started with skeleton placement.